Yo people from Tech House Market and welcome to this brand new video. I'm Burner and today I'm gonna show you how to make the best sounding bass in Ableton. And we're only gonna use stock plugins, so for the people who only have Ableton but no other synthesizer like Serum or Silent or whatever, this is just pure stock samples. So everyone with Ableton can use this. We're gonna use Operator, which is Ableton's built-in synthesizer, and I'm working with Operator a lot. You can create very cool sounds with it. I already make this super simple bass line. And we're gonna make this the best sounding bass line ever. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna change the sine wave here to a sawtooth. So I'm gonna shape this a little bit. Set the decay to this. Release to... Yeah, I think this is good enough. And now we're gonna go into the most important part, which is the filter. So we're gonna set this to, I think, around 200 hertz. And now we have to make sure that we set the envelope to around 50%. I think it's good enough. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down here. We can also play around with the resonance. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add a drum bus to this to make it sound a little bit warmer. And I think I'm gonna play it lower like this better. Now I'm gonna play it with a kick. Uh, how I like to sidechain that is with the Kickstart 2. It's extremely simple to use. I'm gonna sidechain the audio from the kick. And then you have this function over here, the band function. And right now you can set this till which frequency you wanna get the sidechain effect. So sometimes you wanna have the more mid, high mid parts not to be too much sidechain so you can change it with the band. So right now it's only sidechaining everything underneath 300 hertz. You can just hear it with a with a headphone. Yeah, I think something like this is pretty cool. And now I'm gonna open up an EQ. Gonna cut away all the high frequencies. Like this. You can also cut away all the frequencies underneath like 20 hertz to make it a little bit more clean. And I like to peak it here a little bit around 60 hertz. You can play around with the frequency here. I think I want to have a little bit more release. Open up a, a, just a bit more. So this is actually my go-to bass sound. I'm using this sound a lot in my productions because it just sounds good on every track. So thanks guys for watching to this video and I see you on the next one. Bye.